Hey y'all. What's up? It goes back out again. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gifts Since 92. Give you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me, the Queen's back out again. Alright, I've been wanting to do this video for a very long time. I tried to do this video earlier, but my schedule and my conflicts and whatnot. But finally, you get to see this video. You get to hear my thoughts and my honest opinions. And I'm going to turn it up a little bit because, like I said, you know, behind the scenes, I've been keeping myself afloat, but I've come to the realization of some things that I really am working on bettering myself each day. But at the same time, I'm still going to come through with these videos. So don't think that I'm just going to stop. No, I'm going to keep going. Because my followers and my subscribers, I really do appreciate you guys for like being the motivation to my channel. And I will keep entertaining you guys. And I will keep making sure that my content stays consistent. So, this video, I might ruffle some feathers. Um, I'm going to get to the nitty gritty. I'm not taking any prisoners because really I have been observing some things um, and like I said I know about stuff and I know that um, when it comes to colorism in the music industry yes it is an open discussion we have to discuss about it because some of our favorite artists are talented as hell and they have the whole package the whole nine yards but the you know ignorance and you know their experiences with colorism and on my social media I have been seeing some things that I don't like and I will mention a few artists that I'm really on the lookout for I want to see them win they're very talented um, the greats have done it before and I want to see more current and future greats do the damn thing in music Alright, so we all know about how the music industry is. We know about colorism in the music industry. And yes, we know about how artists who, especially black women, and I'm going to get to it. I will do my best to talk about my honest opinions and not be biased, but I have to keep it 100 because I want to see more black women in music win, period. Yes there is room for everyone no i do not discriminate anybody of any color any race any gender i don't care but here's the thing do you remember when was the last time we've seen more women of color really make it into mainstream music like if you take a look back down memory lane we've had the greats we've had like amazing women of music that really broke barriers despite being dark skin brown skin light skin mix whatever but I'm starting to see how especially with some talented artists dope black female artists in particular that I am keeping an eye out for and that I have been paying attention and I have been supporting them too so let's break it down I just want to see talent win I really do I want to see a variety of people win in music no matter your dark skin, brown skin, light skin. Now, especially, and I say this especially, it is not no to put dark skin people up above a pestle. No, hell no. But what I'm saying is, listening to people's experiences with colorism, listening to their stories, you know, behind the scenes, and how really it's like this. I really want to see black women in music succeed to the point where it's like, we can really see the talented creatives, the talented artists, the singers, the songwriters, the producers, you know. And I feel like when we look at now the mainstream, you know, radio, the mainstream music right now that's being played, I am seeing a few um, dope artists that, you know, have been making noise like uh, SZA, um, Ari Lennox. Um, Normani. Um, I'm also I'm getting to Tmar. Tmar, she's a dope artist. Um, Seven Streeter. Oh, I'm gonna talk about her a little bit later on this video. Y'all gonna love it because I feel like these women, in particular, are black women, right? 
they're dark skinned black women of color they're beautiful they're gorgeous however you know some people have been disrespecting them into their feelings and what I mean by the disrespect it's not like a constructive criticism it's not like okay y'all okay let's just start off it's it's pretty much like people social media and trolls they try to you know say some slick things about what they look like and their features and you know and make jokes and and I'm not here for that shit because really when people will be like oh well I'm not colorist I have a preference okay fine we can have a preference we all have preferences but when you make slick remarks about someone's skin tone their skin complexion um, and you say stuff that really is in a derogatory way in a derogatory tone that tells you something about yourself and I'm at a point now I'm really turning up with this music channel I'm gonna really push through because I really want to be one of these bloggers that also share a positive light on certain topics and certain things that affect me too and I'm a black woman of course and there's some things that I have experienced too and I have seen other people like my family, some of my friends, my acquaintances even though I'm not a dark skinned black woman and I don't know what it's like to be a dark skinned black woman but I am a black woman so I know my experience of being a black woman but I have empathy a lot for my sisters I really do because it's like, it's like I, I see where people are coming from it's kind of like we talk about how the music industry, of course, they want this certain image or this certain look from artists in general, okay? You have to be perfect. You have to be the total package. You have to be talented. You have to, you know, do the whole nine yards. But if you don't, if, if, it's not, it's not really you don't have it. It's not that. It's just the bias and the dis discrimination and the politics that come with it because I be seeing how people be saying oh we want certain artists to win we want certain artists to get more exposure besides so and so so and so and so and so and perfect example when it comes to music back in the day we had so many variety and talented artists where it was like no matter who they were really talent was the main focus talent was the main goal Oh, I almost forgot. Why haven't I mentioned Brandy? Guys, Brandy, she's another artist. A brown skinned girl, black woman. Well, actually, she was a brown skinned girl in music. She, you know, dominated R&B and pop music. Now she's a grown, full-fledged woman now, but she's an icon and legend. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Brandy just released one of the best albums of 2020. Yes, I said it. I don't care. I don't care who gets mad. I don't care who gets into their feelings. She did what she was supposed to do. Because when we look at Brandy's career, right? And I'll talk about Brandy, you know, more in this video too. Brandy pretty much redefined R&B, alternative, soul, and pop music. Brandy was like pretty much like an underground artist too before she actually blew up. But she's she, she was really even when she blew up she was a gem back then and how the music industry was back then yes you know unfortunately there was like colorism and politics and biases but back then you know what's so sad nowadays it's like for the fans and critics and music critics to complain the lack of supporting artists the lack of promoting artists and we do have social media platforms like you know Twitter Instagram, Snapchat, um, Facebook. Um, we used to have MySpace back in the day. But I feel like Brandy, I'm telling y'all, Brandy is a perfect example. She's a legend. She's an icon. She really broke the barriers for black women in music, period, alongside with her peers. And looking back at Brandy's career, how she was young, she's about 14, 15, she put out her debut album. Like Brandy had like the the whole total package. Brandy was like the girl next door. Her image, the fly, the sassy, very talented, mature for her age, but she had like that soul at such a young age. That's what's missing in music now. 
where is the soul there's not enough soul in mainstream music and I say this because I remember when I was a little girl listening to music I remember I was so in love with Mary J Blige I'm still a huge Mary J Blige fan but Mary J Blige is another one brown skin beautiful black queen you know she changed the game of music because really when it comes to black representation in music it's important and I'm hearing people's opinions I do agree with them and I do see what's going on because there has been a shift in the music for the past like 10 years so 10 years ago was what 2010 and I feel like as time went on the like I feel like the music went downhill a little bit at a time. I feel like it started to get more generic. It started to get more cheesy. It started to get more redundant. It was more like, especially with R&B artists, they were still trying to struggle and find themselves in like a new wave of music. But let's get back to like Brandy, right? Brandy pretty much, all her albums, I have all of Brandy's albums to this day. I feel like Brandy deserves her flowers still. And I like that Brandy, you know, she has always been like such a genius in music because there was nobody out there like Brandy and there will never be another Brandy period. The reason why I say this is because she holds a special place in my heart because I remember listening to Brandy when I was a little girl. I remember singing like, I want to be down, baby, best friend, all of that full moon. Um, I grew up during the full moon era and I remember as a little girl watching full moon on 116 Park and I was like whoa this is a black woman that she really catapulted her success from the ground up as a young girl as a teenage girl like how many freaking artists today do we know that can do that I'm just keeping it 100 how many artists today now that you know of young black artists, young black male artists, young black female artists, 14, 15, 13 years old that's actually out here now. I don't really see any, but that's the thing. It's like back then, really it was more about the talent. It was more about the art. And Brandy, as a brown skinned black girl, and as she said, you know, her experiences in, you know, like I said, her experience, because she's from Mississippi. She's from the country, okay? So, for her growing up in the country, and like I said, she grew up in the church and stuff. So, you know, when you grew up in the church, you know, you can sing. Sing, sing, all that great stuff. But Brandy, her gift really started as a young child. She was into singing. She was into acting. But that skill of singing, like, she, she could sing. I was watching her old footage from her documentary where... There were clips of her mom and her father and herself and like some of her friends and stuff. They was like, yo, Brandy can really blow. She can really sing. She can sing. You know, and the way how Brandy's singing her voice. Brandy's voice is nothing like no other. Like, Brandy's voice is like on cloud nine. It's, it's kind of like her voice. She has a very angelic voice. She, she, it's, it's like her voice is just so smooth. It's so like fresh. It's very authentic. Um, she has like that melodic voice, that kind of melodic flow in her voice. Her singing while she's singing on her records, it's like it's smooth. It's glides. It's like butter. And I feel like Brandy pretty much really utilized and developed her skill as a not only as a singer, but as an artist she had artist development and of course um her inspiration of other artists but yes i will mention i will mention the voice aka miss whitney houston aka nippy rest her beautiful soul rest in peace rest in paradise because brandy um that's that has been her mentor her friend you know and that was somebody that she looked up to in music and whitney houston i gotta, I gotta mention her and Whitney Houston, she was another black woman, woman in music, black woman of color, that really changed the game of music. She did pop music and R&B music. And I feel like, like I said, when it comes to people saying like, well, you know, we want to see more black people in music win. But then, as I mentioned before, it's always this, 
I, I really kind of feel like some people they just talk the talk but they're not about action because really I don't know I kind of feel like okay I went out and bought Brainy's album uh, this past what Friday on July the 31st this album is a work of art this album is sold from start to finish and I did a review so go check that out but this is what I'm saying it's like Brainy was able to really change the game with her music her voice I mean the visuals like Brandy was the it girl back then Brandy was the it girl back then period um alongside with her peers same thing with Aaliyah same thing with Monica and I feel like we need to have more of that we really do need to have more of that because I feel like even for me growing up I saw how like Mary J Blige um Jan Jackson Whitney Houston Tony Braxton and you know I'm young I'm 27 years old um I grew up with most of these artists and like I said you know I feel like we need to have that back but like I said there has been some things that I don't like and I and listen guys I try not to you know say too much on Twitter because that's what I'm saying you know I feel like this platform is a better opportunity for me to really speak my mind and say how I feel because Lord you know there's gonna be trolls they're gonna be haters they're gonna be folk just trying it and I ain't got time to be throwing a damn galley gun but on this YouTube channel I got time today okay I got time but you know I feel like yeah I feel like I just want to see more women of color win like okay and now like I said with Brandy her longevity Brandy was able to really come out of her shell and create the music that really, really represented her as an artist. That's why I'm so proud that Brandy is still with us. I'm so proud that she never gave up on her passion, her work, her art, and her music. Because Brandy, people still, people still love Brandy to this day. Like old Brandy fans and even new Brandy fans. If you're a new Brandy fan, cool. It's all love over here. But I know old Brandy fans like me and the rest of the Brandy crew, the stars. Growing up with Brandy, it's like wow to grow up with your artist, with an artist that you really supported through thick and thin. You love their music from start to finish. Everything about Brandy is a perfect example of what I want the current and the future R&B artists do, no matter who they are. But I gotta get to like supporting. You know, I have to support my dark skin sisters and you know brown sisters in music because really in my honest opinion I, I feel like some people they say yeah we want you know song so to win we want song so to win but y'all gonna have to buy the music and here's the thing people think that just supporting artists on social media is gonna cut no it's not because if you really really think about it you know spending money on music I mean it's like if you like music if you have a favorite artist buy the music save up work hard get the album and some people, I be seeing some trolls on social media. They say shit like, well, what's the hype about her? Or, or she ain't going to make it. Or, you know, she ain't all that. Okay, let me tell y'all something. Pay these trolls does because they're going to do what they're going to do. And I should talk about Normani, Corday. You guys know I promote Normani, right? And, oof, I have to be honest. As a Normani fan, I feel like, to be honest, it's not Normani. It's not, it's really not. The issue with Normani is, will she be able to sell records? And unfortunately, I hate saying that because it should be about the music. But also, will she be able to sell her music and art to mainstream world? And it's almost like, the more I think about it, because you guys know I do my Normani videos, right? I feel like Normani needs to have a better team. I don't think it's her music. Because we know all her songs. We know, I don't feel like running down the list, but we know Normani songs by now. Um, especially with collaborations and features, they count too. But I feel like... Normani's the issue isn't Normani's talent or her music 
it's just the constant like it's kind of like I understand people have an opinion like okay well what I want from Normani is she should make this kind of music or okay well Normani should try something different with her music that's healthy constructive criticism okay or well Normani needs a better team of management that's healthy constructive criticism but when I be saying some of these trolls on fucking ooh, I'm cuz I'm sorry, not sorry, but I don't care. When I see these trolls on social media and as a fan, I just ignore them. I may read a couple negative comments and I say, hmm, interesting, because it's like Normani's talent speak for itself. Normani should be able to sell records. She should be able to make good music. That girl can sing and dance at the same time. She has the total package in her music. She has the total package. And I feel like we don't know what goes behind the scenes. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm just going to say this. You know, my nation, let's just, you know, like I said, just keep holding her down. Support her through thick and thin because she's all we got. She is all that we have. Because the fans have the power to make the difference. The fans have the power to buy and support their favorite artists. And that's why I want the mind to win too so bad. Because I feel like really I'm bored with music. I'm really am bored with music. And I try not to be so picky. And I try not to bash like artists like that. Because I'm not like that. My thing is if your music is good. You make good music. You make quality music no matter who you are. I will support you definitely. I will promote you on my channel. But with no money, it's like, you know, it's it's really freaking frustrating because my thing is, the other side, people are saying, well, no money ain't the next it girl in music, in black music. And then another side, people are saying, well, you know, she's okay she's all right but i don't see the hype and then another side is saying well you know normani you know she may not be able to get the success as other artists i'm gonna tell y'all something i'm gonna drag y'all stop comparing other people's success to each other that's the freaking issue if you would just support these artists and buy the music if you would just like separate artists and stop comparing them and give them a chance especially if they're talented and especially they put in that work and they make good music and they've been buzzing for a while and they stay connected with their fans and they stay consistent and they make good music just buy the music and and all this comparing you know building one artist up and tearing another artist down i'll be saying some like people on live they do their live youtube um stream and absolutely right it's like we gotta stop doing that because what's gonna happen is that's gonna give these artists a tough time even more of a challenge for them to really try to get themselves out there and try to become who they are if we spend so much time trying to compare one and another one that's not gonna work we gotta support more than one especially the talented ones because I feel like really the talented ones the underrated ones they're the ones that deserve I mean I, I'll say this let me be polite and no I'm not going to throw shade no I'm not going to throw shade at any artist I don't do that over here period but what I'm saying is we should just buy the music we should just support and do the damn thing and that's what I'm saying I feel like Normani it's like it's not so much about her music it's not that it's just I feel like and I may not be able to speak on behalf of the Mind Nation. But I have to tell you guys something. We have to support this lady. We gonna when she release new music, support her. When she release her album, her debut album, buy her freaking music. Show her love. Buy her music. Because really in my in, in my honest opinion, if you say you love an artist, buy the music. But then at the same time, I have seen some um, fans' perspectives or, like I said, you know, so-called fans or uh, I would say undercover fans, low-key fans will say stuff like, well, why y'all still supporting her? 
you know, why y'all hyping her up? Well, she she ain't going to be on that level of so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so. And, so and we already know. She ain't going to get that level. But see, the thing is, I feel like, really, when I, when I think about being on a certain level, I just think of reaching that real high success. And success is success. I feel like if we stop comparing someone's success to another success, then things will be better because... My success is my success, just like Sansa's success is Sansa's success. My success is not better than someone else. Same thing. Or like how some people try to, you know, like belittle certain artists because they don't have, they, okay, you know how some these stupid fans, you know how they be like, well, my fave sold this millions of records. My fave sold how many albums? My fave got all these grams that's cool your faith earned it your faith worked hard but does that make your faith better like does that make your faith superior because he or she got all these albums and all these so all these records and got all these grams because you got other artists they bust their ass too and unfortunately like i said you don't know what goes behind the scenes but at the same time it's like they're still at the end of the day artists. You know, and I and I feel like some of these fans have gotten really cocky. I feel like they've gotten too you know, they've been, you know, they've been feeling themselves too much because I've always have said I've always have rooted for the underdogs in music. I've always have rooted for the ones that been putting in that work. And I think about stories like Missy Elliott. You already know I'm a huge Mr. Mina fan. We all know Missy Elliott. We know. Missy Elliott. Mr. Mina Elliott. And Missy Elliott's story. And her inspiration in music. And as a black woman in music. And as a dark skinned black woman in music. I'm telling y'all. It's not a joke. It's not a joke because. Her experiences. in mute, Her experience with. Being in the music business. Being in the music industry. How she saw some things that affected her well-being, her artistry as a black woman of color, and as a dark-skinned black woman of color, and how she was able, the negativity that people told her, oh, she ain't going to make it in music, she don't have the image, she don't have the look, well, guess what? <laughs> guess what happened? <laughs> we got fucking um, super duper fly. We got I Can't Stay in the Rain. We got She's a Bitch. <laughs> we got Work It. We got Lose Control. Get Your Freak On. I mean, I'm just saying. And But see, she's a perfect example of other artists. They follow the pursuit and they work hard. And they don't let the music industry dictate to them what kind of artist they should be and whatnot. They can change the game. They can do it. And that's why Missy Elliott... She's another artist that really holds dearly in my heart too because I'm inspired by Missy Elliott and I'm a huge Missy Elliott fan and I feel like, yeah, I mean, it's like she went through people putting her down, telling her she ain't gonna make it, you know, and in colorism, in colorism people, Missy Elliott has always been beautiful. She's always been a beautiful black queen anyway, but just like her other peers in music, she had to really find her own voice and she knew she knew that she had something special in music you know and she knew that that creativity as a producer as a rapper as a songwriter for her to really get into the creative process of finding her sound um having you know her own artist development having her own artistry she was able to really levitate. She was really able to change the game in a way where it's like, wow, there was nobody like her in music. And I feel like it's going to be more artists like that. I feel like it's it's, it's just not going to be. And I know people, like, unfortunately, lose hope on, like, well, you know, we may not get, like, more successful, talented black artists. But one of these days, it's going to happen. Mark my words, it's going to happen. I feel like the shift in music right now is just changing. And even with the music industry, it's kind of like 
I do think about how women of color, like black women in music, have broke barriers. I also think about Lauryn Hill. Lauryn Hill is another one. She's a legend, an icon in female hip hop and rap. And, you know, watching her videos, I was watching the video that thing do walk um a couple nights ago on music choice i was watching that video i said yeah i remember as a little girl watching that video lauren hill she's always like such a beautiful unique artist too because she really like changed the game in music as well because really it's kind of like with her i feel like you know she's another black woman of color dark skinned black woman of color that broke barriers in music too and I also think about Foxy Brown um, I think about her you know and, and, and so many amazing talented artists in music where we should be able to appreciate artists that actually have that like real talent and I feel like now you know I want to see it for Normani um, you know for her um, who else um, I love Ari Lennox. Oh, I gotta talk about Miss Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox is another talented artist that she's such a dope artist. She has a lot of that like old school feeling kind of music mixed with the new school music. And the one thing that I love about her music is very authentic. She has fun with it. You know, she has like that sassiness. She speaks her mind. She has a little bit of everything. And I feel like even, you know, she had went through some things, you know, personal things where like people were trying to come for her, making jokes about her. And I was like, and I made a video about that. I said, no, we're not having this ish over here. Okay, I'm going to throw a galley gun. But, um, yeah, I feel like Ari Lennox, like that debut album of hers, uh, Shea Butter Baby. I think she also released one of the best albums as well last year because I feel like that album showcases so much like R&B, soul, hip hop, pop, jazz, funk. She's another one that makes some good music. She has a really good ear of music and I like that, you know, she's herself and I'm, I'm glad that, you know, she wasn't stripped down to be something that she wasn't because I feel like, unfortunately, I think that's how some of, like, the new, the the insiders of the music industry, they, you know, and yes, it's a business, and yes, we understand, you know, artists have to sell records, but I feel like to be stripped down to something that you can't be in order to sell yourself to the world with your music, you want people to take your music seriously. You want people to take your artistry seriously. But if you got like a record label that the people in the record label are trying to make you to something that you're not, it's going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like it won't gel. It's like water and oil. It's not going to work. And I feel like Ari Lennox, I like that the people that do support her, I, I feel like, you know, she, you know, she really got it, you know, she, she, she really is one of a kind because I feel that her, um, you know, music is really dope. I feel like her voice, her voice, she has a beautiful voice. She has like that soulful voice. And that's the thing. I feel like her voice reminds me of other artists that I grew up with. She has like that soulful 70s voice, like her tone. It's like very soulful, um, very angelic, very like sultry. I mean, she can sing. She can sing. Hands down, she can sing. And I like that, you know, her music is so versatile, um, so fun and edgy. And she brings a little bit of everything. So Ari Lennox definitely hands down. She's another artist people need to motherfucking like, you know, support more too. Um, oh. Let me talk about Seven Streeter. I'm going to tell y'all something. I feel like Seven Streeter should have been better as well. Because I have followed Seven Streeter for a long time. I remember Seven Streeter was in a girl group called Rich Girl. I was in high school when they came out. And I loved Rich Girl. I still love Rich Girl. And I feel like 
rich girl as a group I think they had talent they had everything but like I said things happen but seven streeter her journey to you know have a solo career and like I said she got some songs under her belt you know she got some few jams that I do like um and I feel like she's underrated man she can sing she can dance I mean I have to be honest I feel like for her that's another artist that I feel like people unfortunately have overlooked in some ways too because it's like she can write she has wrote songs for other artists you know and even she even explained her um, experiences in the music industry where her being a dark skinned black woman yes and as a dark skinned black girl she knew what was up too so she peeped game because she was saying while she was trying to you know make it big in music she was in a, another girl group before rich girl and she talked about how you know she saw through some things how people wanted her to just be like the background singer or like they didn't really pay attention to her like it's kind of like she was just there in the group and they knew she could sing she could sing but they did not want to give her opportunity to get more lead vocals and all that stuff but i feel like that's the reason why you just never know and and this is why it's a reality and when people make jokes about like oh well, dark skinned women they complain and i I be peeping some shit i'd be like oh okay mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right oh they complain and you know they mad and insecure and you know and then and i'm like not really i mean of course it's easy to say when somebody has explained their experience with racism colorism or anything it's any sign of discrimination and people be like oh well you're just making a big deal oh it's not a big deal but i'm like the shit fucking happened whether you like it or not okay it happened whether you like it, whether you like it or not whether you can admit it or not whether you want to acknowledge it or not like who are you to dictate someone to dismiss someone's feelings about what they went through who are you to say dismiss everything what someone has went through and who are you but that's another story i'm trying not to let my super saiyan power get turned up too quick but you know okay but you get the drift right so i feel like just listening to interviews and just seeing how seven street was like yeah you know like i knew this song was a dope record but what would i be able to sell it you know what i'm saying she was like saying like she had wrote a song and a song that was hers for another artist and she was like you know what this song is really good i know it's a hit record and i know it's a smash and i know like if if i put that record out for me and what would it would it get the same response as the other artists that I gave the record to and what she was saying was like some songs that she read for other artists some records that she did that she gave the other you know she gave the artist you know the record away it was fine but it was kind of like she was like I really wonder sometimes like would I be able to get the same response as everyone else which really is true because I feel like when people say well you know and even like I said people say well you know it's it's not really it's ugh. I just feel like it's a broken record I'm sorry to say this but I feel it's a broken record I feel like fans should just do more for their faves I feel like you know I just miss the days of like the mysterious the mystery I miss the days of like even when I was a little girl when I'd be on the message boards man i had a blast the fan forms i think if fans create more fan forms for their favorite artists then that way it will give them like a balance of expressing themselves on the message board like it will give them more of like a connection to the artists that they support so i feel like I just feel like we need more fans that have that dedication to support the music you know to really support their faith because I feel like 
this Twitter, I like Twitter, I enjoy it. But half the time, I really don't enjoy it because I be seeing these trolls and I'm like, yeah. And then some of my mutuals, like my, you know, crew members of like the same fan base, the same artists that we support. Uh, shout out these. Mm. You know, sometimes I just want to be like, I just, I, I just want to drag. But I say, what's the point of even dragging when really, you know, on social media, it's kind of like there's so much negativity and toxic stuff on social media and then when I be seeing comments from like people who have their opinions of these artists but it's kind of like I, I've noticed I'm gonna tell you something I've noticed that lately people have been coming for Normani and people have been coming for Chloe and Halle and people have been coming for like who else and they're on problematic artists too but here's the thing. It's like, I was very, very proud of Chloe, I, Chloe and Halle. Because Chloe and Halle, they released their new album called Ungodly Hour this year. I love this album. I love, I need the, the I, I love this album. And I saw how, even before the album, they were having some haters that, that were hating on them. You know, and they released that real dope song, Do It. I love that song. That song is really, really dope. I love it. It has like that nostalgia, R&B, soul, hip-hop, alternative, and that upbeat vibe. It's kind of like they're bringing back more of that vibe of music, of the sound, where from previous generations, like the early 2000s music, the 90s music, the 80s music, the 70s music, the 60s music, but... I, I could definitely see how their artistry has really developed and has really grown and really they really have exceeded a lot of people's expectations um, the fans of course because you know when they first came out like I did pay attention to them but I had to listen to their music more but their debut album is pretty good and I love them and I think that you know, they really are bringing back like that feel good music that's really missing today. And I love that, um, you know, they just bring in back a little bit of everything. And I kind of like how even as a group, um, as a duo and as a girl group, and there hasn't for the last how many years I mean how many years have we seen a black girl group in music do it and you know really slay the game you know and really you know make good music I know a long well in the 90s there's this group that came out called uh oh my gosh I know it's the name the name everybody done DJ, won't you play that song? Y'all know. I'll I have to write. I'll type it in the um comment section when I get done. But yeah, it's kind of like listening to this new this new generation and listen to like the new uh, crop of artists of this generation. It's really good to see the responses, the positive feedback and the negative feedback. But I really love how. Chloe and Halle also are making noise and also are breaking barriers in music as black women, as young black women. They're like young. They're like in their early 20s. So, of course, I'm fans of them. You know, hell yeah, you know, I'm fans of them forever and I will continue to support them. Because I feel like their music, you know, it's kind of like they're just bringing back good vibes they're just bringing back like the nostalgia and the artistry of music where it's kind of like that's why I really want to see more black artists in music win you know and you know like I said I know it's been a journey for some artists but like I said you can't give up you know even the best of the best they never gave up you know and they broke barriers in music but that's why I feel like people should just support the music and if we stop like comparing these artists and let them be themselves and find their own lane and you know they make good music that's all that matters and you know 
I really do appreciate um, how people say, you know, like I say, I just want to see more artists win and I want to see more, you know, artists, you know, really do the thing in music. But see, the thing is, too, I feel like, you know, and no, I'm not a Debbie Downer and no, I'm not a toxic person, but I, I feel like fans should really step it up and we have to do it. You know, I think that it's time for us as fans, we should find other ways to support our fans. And not just social media, but I feel like if we get more fan forms back, or I have been on some, like, fan forms of, like, um, you know, it's like fan forms of music forms where, like, you know, I be on there sometimes, I comment on the music, you know, engage, have dialogue with other, um, fans and that's a good thing you know but um yeah you know because really I, I really want to see more you know artists win also I want to see who else I want to see win okay we talk about hip hop female rap I want to see Remy Ma I like Remy Ma I really do I love Remy Ma you know what's so funny too I kind of feel like Remy Ma She's another artist that don't really get enough flowers either. But, like I said, I feel like, you know, back in the day when she came out, I remember when she came out, I think I was in like middle school, middle school, elementary school. She came out in 2007. She came out 2006 or 2007. I think I was probably in the middle was that middle school? I think I was in, I think I was around middle school when she came out. I'm trying to remember middle school because for her to really come out and really slay things and really change the game too. And like I said, you know, she's back on the music market too, which is great. But I feel like, you know, I want to see her get more exposure too. And she's a dope rapper. She, I've listened to some of her stuff. She be saying some. She she can spit. She can spit. I mean, she 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 really has like her own lane. But she her bars, her punchlines. She is more like a MC battle style rapper. And I love those kind of rappers too. I love when they be like going in, you know, like MC battle rap. But then also. They have like that, they have a balance of like that real raw like poetic hip hop feel. And I feel like Remy Ma like, you know, her whole appeal and her whole like, you know, she has a lot of that like authentic, you know, she's, you know, she has like that femininity, you know, she has like that, you know, poetic side, and she got more like that badass, you know, she, she's a savage on the mic, she, she can spit, you know, um, and I feel like Remy Ma, like I said, I know she's been working on her album, she's been working on music, but yeah, I really want to see her do her thing too more, I, I really think that we need to see Remy Ma out there back on the music scene too, because, like I said, I already know what's up, and I'm prepared, I'm prepared, hey, I'm good, but I already know, hey, I'm just going to do what I do. And people feel free to have conversations with me. Because I'm trying to really get out of my comfort zone. And I try to. I, you know I'm the kind of person. I like to hear people's opinions. I like to hear people's different perspectives. And I don't come across as like you know. Well I don't think I come across as like you know. Intimidating but you know. Like I said I feel like. Just seeing how other people. Talk about these things on their YouTube channel. That makes me want to do it too. And I've always wanted to speak on these topics as well on my YouTube channel. Because it's really like this. As a lover of music and all the artists that I grew up with since I was born. You know, and even growing up with the artists that I bought their music. I've seen their concerts. Well, I've went to the theater concerts. You know, and you know, I feel like... You know, I just want to be able to, in the future, enjoy more, like, artists coming in the game and do the damn thing in music. Because, really, I have to be honest, 
I'm gonna tell it like it is. Um, I just I just get bored, you know. And mainstream radio really ain't cutting it. I mean, only maybe a few artists that are talented that really get my attention, but everything sounds the same. Everything sounds redundant. Everything is kind of like we just need more. You know, we just need something different in a good way. Who else is another female rapper? Oh, Rhapsody. I love Rhapsody. I listened to that album. Even I did an album review. And I gotta be honest. Rhapsody is another one. She can spit. She got the flow of trees. She got the flow. She got the bars. She. <laughs> she. She got everything. And. And um, I feel like Rhapsody, she um, you know, she's also another female rapper that you know people should you know support more too, you know, because really you know she that that album Eve that she put out last year, it's a body of art, and she and that album is like a homage to like the black women, like black women in like the world, black women like that changed the game and the world and like made an impact in the world and stuff and that album from start to finish I love how like the, the album names are like based on the women that she admired and that she really looked up to as a little girl now as a grown woman but I really like how she was able creatively really took her spin on it and I like that you know she really really you know slayed on that album and I, and I like that you know just listening to her rapping and I'm telling you I mean we gotta support more talented dope female rappers for real for real and here's the thing you know I do like some of the female rappers that are out and like I said I have supported my favorite female rappers um, growing up and I feel like you know we need to see more of them really break barriers we really do you know and I kinda see how um you know I really, really, really like how people, um, you know, we we really want to see some really talented artists really, you know, put in their work and really change the game. But I like that, you know, even we talk about colorism, here's my thing. And this is what I've been noticing too. I have noticed some fans who are ignorant no matter what fan base it is but I tell you what some of them haven't shown their true colors they have um and even when I've seen how even like when some of the fans talk about Normani the ignorant fans like you know they talk about Normani um or like anybody in particular but I have noticed them when it comes to mine it's kind of like I don't know I really don't know but I do know one thing she is and she will be that B you know what I'm saying but I kind of feel like this is the perfect example and this is really why just looking back at all the things that Mari has went through in her music career all the things that she has achieved in the girl group we gotta really really support my mind we have to support my mind because I'm telling y'all for people to really see another successful female R&B pop artist in music really slay and really change the game in music, we gonna have to say, we gonna have to put our money where our mouth is. We gonna have to put the money where our mouth is. We gonna have to go out and buy the music. And I don't want nobody to be, you know, like struggling in her music career. I don't want nobody to be like, just struggling struggling like on and off struggling 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 I just want no mind to really find her place in music and I want no mind to find her voice in music I want no mind to just be no mind and this is the thing we gotta let no mind be no mind okay yeah she's been compared to other artists which is cool but even some of these trolls been trying it and they've been trying to use that comparison to put her down to bash her and tear her down and I'm not having that shit I'm not having this shit on my channel because like I said I feel like 
Normani just needs to be Normani. And I feel like, by the way, by the way, I feel like, if anything, Normani should have the freedom and the time to really make sure that her music speaks for itself. I want Normani to really get into her creative zone. And I just want Normani to just do well in music. I really do. And I feel like Normani, she's down to earth. She's humble. She's badass. You know, and people have been trying to be coming for her, be hating on her. But, a hey, hashtag Normani Nation will always support her. We always going to drag some of these haters here and there. But I feel like Normani is going to be okay. I believe in her. I will always support Normani through thick and thin. I will buy her music. Definitely. Hell, I bought fucking Brandy's music. So what does that tell you? I'm a Brandy fan. I'm a Stars brand. I'm a real one. Because it's important to buy the music. And in order for us to see these artists succeed, in order for us to see these artists sell records, we're going to have to buy the music. We can't just go buy social media. Social media ain't going to do but so much. Buying music is something that people should get into more anyway. Because I feel like even listening to other people's opinions, and yes, I have been, you know, paying attention. And I have been seeing how they're feeling because it's like, well, you know, we should be able to buy albums in this day and time. Regardless, we should be able to buy a CD once in a while to support our favorite artists. So, with that being said, I do agree with that. Um, I think that, you know, as time goes on, and I know all this crazy stuff is COVID and all this crazy stuff and everything. I just wish people blessings. I want people to just, you know, follow your dreams, never give up. And that's it. And don't let nobody dim your light. Don't. I've been through some things, too. And I can show you guys my personal stories. Because I'm going to tell you all something. Some people, unfortunately... They feel threatened by your presence. They feel threatened by your light. And instead of them, you know, like being kind and nice, they end up being a a-hole. But with that being said, it's all good. You got to, you know, pay your hater dust. Um, but yeah, I feel like just seeing how, you know, in the music business, we should be able to see artists win regardless of their skin tone regardless of their skin color um and i like that looking at you know people's experiences and watching interviews and documentaries i feel like we should be able to see more black women in music win and more artists win in music period in general um and i feel like you know we just gotta do our part as fans so um, for you guys, like, you know, to share your opinions on colorism in the music industry, what have you observed? What have you seen? Um, also, um, what are your thoughts on your favorite artists? Any of your favorite artists who are, um, who they are regardless of their skin tone? Any of them dark skinned artists? I'm um, sorry, dark skinned people, um, making music? Who do you want to see get more exposure? Um, and tell me and share your honest perspectives down below. So please guys, stay tuned on next episode of Get Sense 92. You guys know your girl by now. I will stay consistent. Believe that. So please um, do not be afraid um, to like, share, comment, subscribe down below. I hope this video um, really gave you guys some insight and like I said, you know, let's have a conversation, have fun. Um, please do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Please do not be afraid to hit that notification button. And as always, stay tuned on the next episode of Get Sense 92, Drum Ball Z, Narrated Reference. Peace, bye, the girls are out. This soup stands out.